Hey everyone, Steph here from thegoodride.com. So we're here checking out the Arbor Vita in a 154. So this comes with Arbor's parabolic camber. It has a positive camber profile. With the connection points outside of the bindings a bit. And it also comes with Arbor's uprise fenders which are small sections near the nose and the tail on the edge that are turned up to help with a catch-free ride and also help with floating in powder. So the Arbor Vita comes with a five out of 10 flex. This keeps the board feeling really nimble, but it is stiff enough to keep it feeling stable at higher speeds and in a little bit more of a bumpy uh, situation on the snow, but you can still twist it, you can still manipulate it and maneuver it quickly. The waist width is also pretty standard for women's snowboards. Um, the waist width on the 154 is 246 millimeters, and so with a thinner waist width it keeps it really quick to turn edge to edge and makes it feel very nimble on the snow as well. It comes with 20 mil of setback, and so it is a directional board. You get a pretty directional nose and a little bit less of a tail, but they're both kind of spooned up, so there's no different in the shape, which allows this board to ride switch pretty easily and um, gives you kind of like more options in the free ride realm to uh, ride switch and spin the board around and, and not feel too backwards when you do it. It comes in three different sizes, a 145, a 150, and a 154. So the base of the Vita comes with a centered plus base. This keeps it gliding pretty fast. I rode this in a variety of different conditions. Uh, fresh snow conditions, up at Mammoth, you know, powder days, and down to some spring slushy, uh, really, really soft snow, kind of melted out spring conditions in Mammoth today. And the base, even, um, it's a little bit nice, but it probably could use a little bit of a wax. Um, even with that, it still had some nice glide to it. So the base has a nice glide to it because you can keep that speed up in the flats and in the stickier snow and powder. So let's start on the steeps. I was very comfortable on the Vita in the steeps. The quick edge to edge turning made it really easy to turn as many times as I wanted up there. Uh, I had a good amount of stability and like I said with that medium flex you get a good amount of stability but you can also twist it and manipulate it and maneuver it quickly and so on the steeps I like that because I never feel stuck on an edge and I feel like I I can turn it whenever I want basically and so you can kind of customize how much speed you want up there uh, which off piste keeps it nimble in the bumps and uh, when you're going through trees and stuff like that it keeps it really nice and nimble and you can maneuver it quickly and you can turn quickly I really like this board because of the quickness of the turn and so you get this free ride directional shape but a lot of times free ride boards become kind of more sendy and this one has the ability to send but it doesn't take away the ability to kind of like maneuver quickly and I really like that about the Vita. For, you know, if we're off piece and steeps and stuff, you're going to see some ice, you're going to see some scraped off conditions. And it has that positive camber profile, which helps a lot. And then it also comes with grip tech. You get a bump under the front binding on each edge. So the toe and the heel edge both have these bumps. And then you get the same bump under the back foot. And this just adds a little bit of some extra, a little bit of extra edge hold, a little bit of more contact under your feet, which helps with the ice, with the scraped off snow. So there's plenty of ice capability for most snow conditions and situations you're gonna find yourself in. taking it to powder. It is a directional board, you get 20 mil of setback, and then it also has 8.4 millimeters of taper. So the nose is slightly wider than the tail, which helps a little bit in powder. You also get the powder fenders. So these fenders come from, they start about here, and they go up into the nose, and you get those on the nose and the tail. Plus you get kind of that directional kind of big spooned out nose as well. In powder, and I got this a few days in powder, and I really enjoyed it in powder actually, it again kind of kept that consistency of feeling really nimble and kind of light and easy to maneuver around, but it had enough float to where I, well granted this is a 154, I would definitely prefer it in the 145, but um, 
even so like I feel like it has enough features to make it a strong powder board but not in a powder specific way more of that free ride snowboard style and so you're gonna have to work a little bit you're gonna have to have a little bit of knowledge on how to keep the nose above the snow and kind of maneuver through but honestly it does great in powder should be able to handle most powder or storm days so for setback on board if you set the bindings all the way back in the 154 the setback stance is 20 inches and then you get 24 inches on the nose and 16 inches on the tail which gives you four inches of setback on board if you move your bindings all the way back which is pretty decent so if you want to get the most out of the board on a powder day and you're seeing a deep day then just throw the bindings back and you should have plenty of float in powder without giving up the nimbleness of the snowboard So if we take this down to the groomers and we talk about turning and carving, I really enjoyed the Vita on groomers. I feel like, again, it was very nimble and so it was really fun to both make just kind of some skiddy, slashy, small radius turns, even some faster turns because it can, it's pretty stable at higher speeds as well. But it was also very fun to carve. It has a good amount of positive camber and the contact points go a little outside the bindings. And so you're able to get a lot of really good connection with the snow, good snappy energy, and it doesn't take a lot of effort to get the board to bend in the carve so that you get that energy back. Uh, the smaller waist width makes it very quick to turn edge to edge. And so it doesn't take a ton of effort to get this board to perform for you. So when it comes to more dynamic moves on snow and more technical moves on snow, the Vita can definitely deliver, but you don't have to be extremely forceful with it. So I really like that about this board. If we bring it down to its freestyle personality, I think this is the part of the board that speaks to me the most. I like a really good playful snowboard. When I get a board that kind of lives in that free ride realm, but I can still play on it, that makes me really happy. And so that's what's cool about the Vita is, like I said before, it's pretty nimble. It's pretty easy to manipulate and kind of move around, but in like a technical way. And so it's really fun with the amount of camber that this has on it. It has a really good amount of pop and so often natural hits and lips and wind lips and cat track jumps and cliff drops and stuff like that you're gonna get a nice snappy feel off the lip it's pretty stable as well in the landing and you can ride it switch so the nose and the tail are pretty similar shaped and the tail doesn't have any kind of fishtail or anything like that and so you can absolutely ride a switch you can take off switch you can land switch you could even throw some like buttery spins in there the Vita can handle all that so I really enjoyed that about this board it's not very easy to butter well the 154 definitely wasn't for me I feel like the 145 would be a little bit easier but it has a, a, definitely a playful personality and uh, if you want to do something with the board in like a playful freestyle way, it can definitely handle that. It, that's not an issue. So the Vita is kind of like has that nice blend of being a free ride type board, but it has the ability to take freestyle elements and apply them in a free ride style of riding. And I think that's what's really neat about the Vita. So overall, who is the Arbor Vita for? This board would fit well for an advanced to expert rider who's looking for a free ride board that is still nimble and can still be a little bit creative, but it has the ability to be technical, to be dynamic, and to take some bigger lines on the mountains. It likes riding big mountain, it likes riding steeps, it can float in powder, but you know it's also fun to take all over the mountain to ride on a groomer day. It's not a one-dimensional board, it definitely has some personality from different realms of the snowboard world but mostly if you're into free riding and you like carving and you like floating in powder this would be a board to kind of do it all so it's a look at the arbor vita in a 154. if you are looking for the full write-up and review you can head over to thegoodride.com to check it out